Welcome to Lexus World guys. Today we're going to be talking about water quality meters and the importance of high-tech measuring in today's growing. These meters can be used either directly in a hydroponics system or in the water reservoir that you use to water your soil grow. This is a water quality trimeter. It combines three common functions in one meter. First off, it measures the pH level of your water from 0 to 14. Second, it measures the nutrient levels in the water by figuring out the total dissolved solids in it, then displaying that measurement in parts per million, which is useful for knowing your exact nutrient levels or how pure your water is without nutrients. By the way, good clean tap water should come in below 200 ppm. And function number three, it measures your water temperature. Now I've done episodes both on pH and on water temperature, so you know how important it is to know those. As for your ppm level, knowing what your parts per million are at, even as you add nutrients one by one, combined with good journal keeping, like what's been going on here, can elevate your, your feeding schedule up to the level of science. And you can even customize it for preciseness for feeding very specific strains. You can become a strain specialist in a way with that kind of precision. The downside of these meters is that they cost a lot. I'll link in the description to where you can get them for cheaper, but depending on the brand of meter, its accuracy and what it can do, they can run from a couple hundred dollars to over a thousand dollars. So they're not for the casual grower. There's some meters that can only do a couple of these three functions, and they cost a lot less. I'll try to link to a couple of those too. Next, bear in mind that water quality meters need to be calibrated every couple of grows, which is actually simple to do with a calibration kit and a tiny screwdriver. See, there's spaces for the screwdriver right there. Now, a horticulture equipment store can either sell you the calibration kit, or in some cases the store will calibrate your meter right at the counter for you if you bring it in. Finally, I wanted to mention the sensors on these. Let's look at them for a moment. Here are the two sensors right there. Now, always look for units where the sensor can be detached and replaced easily. See, you can detach them all right there. These sensors are incredibly sensitive. I can't stress enough that you need to handle them with care and exactly as per the instructions. 90% of the time when these water meter units get damaged, it's actually damage to the sensors. I wouldn't even leave the sensors too close to air stones underwater. Really baby these things. But, if you take care of the water meter properly, you will see differences in your results and you'll feel way more confident that your plant's growing conditions are exactly what you think they are. Happy growing! If you found this episode useful, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll catch you guys next time on Lexus World.